Hey, what's going on everybody? This is D here with High Off Blue Hour and we are going to be taking a look at Magic Mask in DaVinci Resolve Studio. Let me actually, uh... all right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring in this clip here and it's just a woman sitting on a, some steps outdoors reading a book. And it's already a short clip, it's only 11 seconds, but we're gonna actually shorten it even more to Let's go, is this seven seconds? Yeah, that works. So what we want to do, highlight our clip, then we're gonna go into the color tab. And I already had Magic Mask on the screen, but I'm, let's kind of pretend like I didn't and go over here to the color wheel area. But to locate Magic Mask, you come over here to this icon right here, where it kind of looks like a framed picture of a person's upper body in front of like a grid pattern. You wanna click that and then you get this. This is our magic mask kind of work area, the control area for it. And then you have this area right here. It says magic mask object. And that's what's selected right here. This icon that's selected is magic mask object. So if we were placing magic mask on an object, like say an, an apple sitting on a desk or, or something like that or you know a ball rolling down uh rolling across a court or something like that we might use the object mask but since we're uh our subject is a person we're going to use the person mask so we want to click that and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our eyedropper tool here and you know some it's a it's kind of a mixed bag in terms of what I think you should do in terms of how many marks, how many strokes you should put on your subject in order to get the optimal result. I've gotten my best results with doing multiple strokes. I've seen some people suggest only doing one short one and things like that. And um, I can see a use case for that, but we're gonna do multiple. So we're gonna do kind of a little medium size across the face. We're gonna do a longer across the torso and then i want to get this make sure this book shows up so we're going to do one going across like that okay and then we're going to come down here and this icon right here where you have an arrow going forward and an arrow going backwards this is track forward and track backwards we're going to click that and then that's going to start the process of our magic mask uh, being tracking our subject. And for me, this is gonna take a bit of time. Hopefully it'll be relatively quick because it's a shorter clip. And it seems like it's gonna actually move at a pretty decent, decent pace, at least for my computer, right? So it's gonna take a little bit of time, but I'm gonna take care of that in the edit. You won't have to sit through the whole uh, tracking process and so what you have here over here on the left side you have stroke one stroke two stroke three those are the marks the strokes that i put on our subject and so you just want to let these blue lines these blue tracking lines down here you just want to let those run their course you want to let let those lines get all the way to the end now if you only use one stroke line if you only use one stroke then you would only have stroke one down there i put three marks stroke one stroke two stroke three across the book down there so tracking is taking place with three stroke marks all right so our subject has finally tracked again that was three stroke lines that, that got tracked and i think it was actually necessary in this case to do at least at least two lines but kind of took a little bit of time but we got it tracked here and so what we're going to do now right here we have this icon here this says toggle mask overlay and what this does is just turns your mask overlay on and off right now the mask overlay is off you can't really see the mask overlay but when i turn it on um this is what the mask overlay looks like it's just basically this kind of red tint that shows it indicates what objects what parts of our subject have been affected by the mask what got tracked and which you can now modify to your liking so let me turn that off and so some things you can do now is you could go into our color section and you could change you know color things color grading type things 
Uh, just to give like drastic examples, just say we bump up the contrast quite a bit. And then that's gonna show through. And then let's say we wanna turn the temp way down. Now again, none of these are artistic things. This is just to show I'm doing drastic changes so that it kind of stands out more and you can kind of see the impact. So you got our temp way down, got the contrast bumped up more. So she's got a kind of a heavier contrast than, than her surroundings. And then another thing that we can do is let's go back and well, actually we don't even have to uh, change where we're at. We can just go over here in our workspace, right click, add alpha output. And then we're going to connect the blue little blue button to the blue circle over here. And now what this does, boom, it takes away, it basically cuts our subject out of the background without us having to uh, use the curve tool and create trace a window around her and then track her manually track her throughout the runtime of the video and all that type of stuff uh, this is one of the benefits of magic mask uh, is it kind of alleviates some of the tedious things about uh, cutting a subject separating a subject from their surroundings in a video so now let's go into uh let's go into our edit tab here and just to kind of give an example of the fact that the background is gone but our subject is still here and sh she's been tracked and everything so what we could do this background that we're this background video we're about to put in here doesn't make any sense really but it's just i'm going to use it to show again functionality so this is just a lady running we're going to place this behind our subject that we did the magic mask on and boom so now this is kind of a form of compositing basically that is it i uh, hope this wasn't too long of a video it's actually going to be much longer for me than it is going to be for you guys because of all the kind of wait time that had to happen during the tracking process that you're not actually going to see in this video but that is magic mask uh, actually relatively simple to use uh, very simple to use if you have a fast computer because it's just really just a case of making a few stroke marks pressing a button and then waiting and then editing uh, your subject so very very simple easy uh, thing to use magic mask uh, you know it's not a new thing anymore but still worthwhile to uh, to dabble around with so that is the video you guys thank you for watching catch you on the next one